essentially your your brand is the bridge between like your product and your customer. So uh, brand marketing is, you know, not about putting your logo and business name as many places as possible to like generate sales. Is that kind of how you see it too? You nailed it. What is happening, people? You are listening to the Digital Foundry podcast. Our guest today is Haley Raymond. She is the Associate Director of Brand and Creative at HelloFresh, the largest global meal kit company. She manages HelloFresh's four brand portfolio, HelloFresh, Green Chef, and Every Plate and Factor. Haley has launched new product lines like HelloFresh Market and occasion-based boxes. Oversaw celebrity partnerships with Mindy Kaling, Jessica Alba, and others, and developed HelloFresh's social impact program, Beyond the Box, which donated 4.4 million meals to families in need in 2020. Previously, she's worked as brand and digital strategist with guests in hospitality, CPG, and fintech at Havis Creative. Welcome, Haley. Thanks. Happy to be here. Good, good. For those living under a rock, what is HelloFresh? Yeah, so for those living under a rock, <laughs> uh, HelloFresh is, you may know it as a meal kit company. These days, we also refer to it as a an at-home meal solutions company. And that is because we now provide both traditional meal kits, which are pre-portioned ingredients and recipe cards to help you cook at home. But we also have a lot of ready to eat and pantry items that you can add to your order. And all of that great stuff is delivered right to your door. So you don't have to grocery shop or meal plan or wonder what you're gonna eat at you know, any given moment. And um, so, HelloFresh is pretty big. We are active in 14 markets globally. And in the US alone, we actually had 2.5 million active customers in 2020, which makes us the meal kit market leader. Awesome, awesome. So uh, let's let's jump into it a little bit here. Uh, how important is brand marketing? I may be a bit biased given that I am a brand marketer myself, but I would rate it as extremely important. If you think about brand marketing at its core, it's really about identifying consumer insights and using those as a basis to develop advertising and content that you know is going to resonate with consumers. That's the brand part of brand marketing, that you're focused on who you're talking to and how you're communicating with them. So if you're not doing that, then you're really just letting your marketing rely on clever media buys or platform best practices to get you eyeballs. And you know, for a long time, especially in digital channels, that actually worked decently well, sort of gaming various platforms and becoming right. an expert in Google AdWords or Facebook media, but platforms change. The media atmosphere has gotten a lot more competitive and expensive. So brand marketing really becomes the differentiator there. If, if you're able to use your brand and create good content that only your brand can create, that's mm -hmm. how you end up standing out. Very cool. Yeah, I like to think of it kind of like this, like essentially your your brand is the bridge between like your product and your customer. So uh, brand marketing is, you know, not about putting your logo and business name as many places as possible to like generate sales. Is that kind of how you see it too? You nailed it. Yeah. With Without a brand, a product really is just a commodity, you know, because it's right. easily... Um, swapped for a different similar product and the brand is what sets you apart. Where is uh, HelloFresh trying to innovate in 2021? We are definitely in the middle of a big transformation right now. So I mentioned 
a lot of people may know us as a meal kit company, but at this point, we offer so many more products and services beyond a basic meal kit, which people really think of as dinner only. Maybe there are you know, five or 10 meals to choose from where just with HelloFresh alone, we have over 25 recipes every week from you know, gourmet options to these multi-course meals. Um, like I mentioned, a lot of ready to eat or heat and eat options. So we have to really think about ways of re-educating consumers on what our brand stands for. And that can be very difficult to do because you can't just lecture consumers to say, hey, you used to think of this this way, but now we stand for something else. Right. You have to do that in an in innovative way. So how do we tell our brand story in these you know, um, brand forward touch points, creating content that is interesting to people and sort of reintroducing them to the brand in a way that feels very natural um, and adds value as opposed to just kind of shouting at people. Yeah, makes sense. And you mentioned, you know, challenges. What would you say, and let me ask you, what would you say is the biggest challenge facing HelloFresh right now? So I don't think this is a challenge that is <laughs> unique to HelloFresh, and maybe this won't be a surprising answer to anyone who's listening in the moment, but, you know, COVID and, and the impact on sort of the, the um brand space and the way that people use products, so many aspects of our lives have really been fundamentally changed. And now with the rollout of the vaccine, there's this big question of like, you know, what is life going to look like post COVID mm -hmm. and what trends will stick, what things will go back to normal as in pre COVID. Um, so, you know, that is not just a HelloFresh question, but we really are constantly asking ourselves how can we design our product and our brand in a way that fits into post-COVID life and really celebrates, ideally, you know, sort of a, an opening up and ability to do a lot more social activities? And how do we continue to provide value to customers? Um, you know, they they got used to yeah. a, a really high level of HelloFresh product during the pandemic. And, you know, ideally, we want to stay with those people even after all of this is you know, wound down. Right, right. So you, you're talking about your audience. How much of what you do has your target audience in mind and the, the, the platforms that they're using? I would say pretty much everything we do has our target audience in mind because that's really who you're trying to build a relationship with and convert to being a customer, you know, that's, that's the business model is taking people who you think um, based on your research have an interest or are primed to think about converting and get those people to learn more about your product and ideally right. try it out. So I like to think about brands in terms of almost being like a person in that brands have interests, you know, they style themselves a certain way. Um, they have likes and dislikes. So if you're a person and you're trying to make friends with someone else, but you don't care about their interests, you don't know where those people hang out, you're not listening to them, you're, you know, you're not going to be able to make friends with those people. Absolutely. Good, good luck with that. So Absolutely. it's the same kind of thing with brands. You have to have an understanding of what your target audience likes, what are their dislikes, what are their behaviors, as you mentioned, where are they hanging out? What platforms right. do they use? And then you really are able to, you know, more likely build a connection with them. So there are a lot of uh, small to medium businesses, you know, they kind of listen to this. What, what's some advice you can give some SMBs listening right now? I think you really set it up great in your last question, which is, you know, how much should you be thinking about your target audience and how big of uh, an element in your strategy should that be? It should be a huge part of your marketing strategy and really building your brand and your product. You know, it's, it's part of your product strategy as well. You're not just building your product to build it. You're ideally building a product and a service and a brand and a, you know, customer experience that solves problems for people and really provides value to them. So, 
never, you know, my advice would be to never stop listening to your target audience. And whether you have a huge budget and are able to afford some really good consumer research, ideally quantitative and qualitative, that's great. But if you have zero dollars to spend on that, go on Reddit, go on Facebook groups, like, you know, find out where these people are chattering amongst themselves and just be a fly on the wall and, and listen in. Makes perfect sense. That's great advice. Uh, so let's get into something a little bit nitty gritty. What's something the average person wouldn't know about HelloFresh? So I this was mentioned in my bio because I'm pretty proud of um, this focus for HelloFresh recently, but we're putting a lot of energy into a social impact program we're calling Beyond the Box. And, um, you know, I think, first of all, this is uh, an area that is really important to everyone who works at HelloFresh mm -hmm. and to our customers, but also it kind of, you know, is something that you're seeing more companies really thinking about how to be good, good corporate citizens, yeah. you know, and, and how to not just be um, kind of like selling products and ideally doing so in a way that adds value to customers, but also giving back to the communities uh, in which we work and play. And that's really been the focus of Beyond the Box. So as mentioned, we donated 4.4 million meals to food insecure families and individuals in 2020. And we really focused on local communities where HelloFresh, um, you know, where we're located and where we work and then sort of expanding out from there. We also have a really cool program called Lime Aid, where we actually ask our audience to nominate friends and family in need who may be experiencing food insecurity. And we um, you know, identify a bunch of those people, whether it's related to you know, COVID or there were a string of wildfires that really devastated various areas. And then we're able to send, you know, boxes of food and support to those Amazing. people. So it's been a really nice way to give back. And I think, you know, not like it's not something that we would advertise in the same right, way. It's right. Something we're very proud of as a company. You should be extremely proud of that. I mean, 4.4 million meals and those are families in need. That's absolutely phenomenal. So. Yeah. To the people that are listening right now, how can they learn more about HelloFresh and what you guys have to offer? Honestly, the best way to do that would be to go to HelloFresh.com or I would say follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Both platforms we're very active on. Uh, mm -hmm. We're also now active on TikTok, so you can check us out there. Yeah. And yeah. The, the, the same goes for our three other brands. So Green Chef, Every Plate, and Factor. You know, we have um, community groups and, and social presences for all of those brands. So, yeah, um, give us a shot. You know, the products are really great across the board. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the time, Haley. I know the viewers appreciate the value that you brought to today's chat. And uh, as always, guys listening, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed what you uh, basically heard or want to help support the podcast, please share it with others to catch the latest from me, you can go and follow uh, the Digital Foundry on Facebook. And please do go to the HelloFresh website and check out all of their social media platforms. Thanks again. And we will see you next time. Thanks, Haley. Thanks.